Hello everyone and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is dissecting Farah, who is Kyle Richards' daughter's response to the family feud that has been going on between Paris Hilton and her mother, Kyle Richards. Um, and then with Farah's aunt, Kathy Hilton, who, as we all know, is Paris Hilton's mother. So she has been speaking out, obviously trying to do promotion for Buying Beverly Hills on Netflix. I'm not sure how that show is actually doing. It doesn't seem like it's doing very well, but we'll all get into it. But before we do, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. So this is according to Reality Blurb. And don't worry, um, we'll go through the article and then we'll talk about it. So here we go. It says, Farah reacts to Paris quote, liking mean tweets about Kyle Richards, addresses Kyle and Kathy's feud, plus what bothers her about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Farah is speaking out about her mom, Kyle Richards, ongoing feud with sister Kathy Hilton and how it's impacted her relationship with cousin Paris Hilton. Months after Paris inserted herself into the drama of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, by, quote, liking a series of mean tweets that Kyle, the Buying of Beverly Hills realtor, is sharing about Kyle, the Buying Beverly Hills realtor, is sharing her reaction to the post while admitting that both she and Paris are very defensive of their moms. Okay, side note, Paris should insert herself. If somebody is coming for your mother, auntie or not, you are going to defend your mom, point blank, period. Okay, let's keep going. It says, we don't talk about it. No, it's too painful, Farah said of Paris liking posts on November on the on the November 16th episode of the hashtag no filter with Zach Peter podcast. Side note, Zach Peter is the content creator that was featured during the finale. It was either the finale or the episode before the finale of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. He is very um pro Erica Jane, pro Lisa Renna, pro. Fox Force 5. So just wanted to put that in there. Okay, now let's continue. We're both very defensive of our moms and we're also extremely, extremely close. If we let that interrupt our dynamic, it would just be too painful, really, and too hard to untangle. So we let our moms do their thing and we just shut it out. Although Farah, who Kyle shares with ex-husband Jurosh, said that Kyle and Kathy's drama on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is really hard to deal with, she, she's hopeful for a future reconciliation between them, saying she wants everything to be okay. All right, side note. I'm sure she wants everything to be okay because don't forget, Farah is allegedly getting married to her long-term partner, Alex. And so we both know Kyle has been very vocal that she wants the Hiltons and the Rothschilds at Farrah's wedding. So I'm so so I'm sure Farrah does as well. So I think that's why she's being so neutral about it because she doesn't want to rock the boat with Paris. That is her cousin. And I will also say this about Farrah. I haven't watched the show Buying Beverly Hills, but what I have seen of her, she actually seems to be like a very level-headed, intelligent, um, cool, normal chick. So I tend to believe her with what she's saying, but some of the stuff that she's going to say, we're going to have to talk about it. So let's continue. So then it says, according to Farah, she believes Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans should have been more, should have had more loyalty to her mom. Now, this is where I'm saying, I get it. You have to have your mom's back. I am the same exact way. You come from my mother. You come from me. I get it. But girl, wrong road, wrong road. All right. She then gets to continues to say they want to see what um what they want to see if they like certain people they can do um they can do wrong if they turn on you then there's nothing you can do right and and that part is like where's the loyalty she wondered this is the thing why should we be loyal to Kyle Richards when Kyle Richards hasn't been loyal to anyone she was not loyal to her own sister 
Kim Richards. She sure as hell wasn't loyal to her own sister, Kathy Hilton. She wasn't loyal to um, Lisa Vanderpump. And that was her longtime, very close friend. Kyle hasn't been loyal to anyone, but she expects the viewers to be loyal to her. It literally makes no sense. And we don't have to be loyal to someone just because they're on our TV screens. You know, as reality stars or even as any celebrities, we don't owe anybody loyalty. It's entertainment. It should be fun. It's not that deep or serious. When you start talking about the fans need to show Kyle Richards more loyalty, now you're crossing into delusional territory. Like, it's just a TV show. Like, take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Talking about us having to be loyal to Kyle Richards when Kyle literally has shown loyalty to no one unless that person is blindly loyal to her, a.k.a. Teddy Mellencamp, you know? And look at how everything went down with her and Dorit. I wonder if they're still friends. I know that Dorit did attend the Buying Beverly Hills um, premiere, but I don't know. We'll see what's going on there. Okay, now let's continue. But despite the intense family drama that played out in season 12, Farah said that Kyle and Kathy's tension had no influence on her decision to film Buying Beverly Hills with her own sister, Alexia Umansky. Okay. Now, this is the thing. It says... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, sorry. I lost my place, you guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, I think just refreshed. As I'm getting back in my place, be sure to like this video, you guys. Get those likes up, get those likes up. Okay, here we go. They have their own, you know, issues and things that they've been dealing with for years. She explained, my sisters and I, we don't have those issues, but also we're a lot younger, so there's a lot less so there's a lot less, you know, time that we could have and also our age gap. So luckily, we don't have those kind of things to deal with. Hopefully, we never will. Uh, Dun, 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 dun. This is the thing. This is the thing. I get it, Farah. You have to have your mom's back, but we don't really owe Kyle Richards any type of loyalty. Again, this is just a reality show. Everybody take a deep breath, take a deep um, a step back. And Kyle, and they also said, I remember watching their um when they were doing press for buying Beverly Hills, which again, the only people I saw covering it was like Us Weekly and E! News. As we know, E! News is owned by NBC Universal, which owns Bravo. So of course they're going to cover it because it's um, their connection to Kyle and to Mauricio and all of that stuff. But I didn't really see Netflix promoting this at all. I didn't really see Netflix putting any money behind marketing or advertising. I don't even know who paid for or who set up the premiere. It seemed like it just was at the agency or someplace like that. It didn't really seem like Netflix was actually backing it. Um, so I think there might be some trouble going on. Again, there was that call for the whole boycott of buying Beverly Hills. And uh, I don't know, it just seems a little shaky, but I get Ferris trying to defend her mom, but girl, just you know what just like kyle said at the amsterdam dinner went to her own sister kim richards when she was talking about her sobriety and her journey and not wanting people to try and take her down like lisa renna how can we defend kyle when what she does is indefensible okay 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 so whatever 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 but i want to know what you guys think put it down in the comments down below what do you think about Farah kind of really being middle of the road and not really taking one side or the other when it comes to the Kathy Hilton, Kyle Richards feud being like, oh, you guys don't see everything, but I'm always going to have my mom's back kind of wishy-washy. Do you think that this is just a ploy to make sure that the Hiltons and the Rothschild will, will be at attendance at her wedding? Again, I still don't think that they still have a date set, but who knows? It can happen when it happens. Or, and do you think that buying Beverly Hills is kind of going to be a flop? And this is just sort of more into that because nobody's really talking about it other than Farah on a podcast. So let me know what you guys think. 
Um, but before we do that, I'll do my quick outro for the people watching on the replay, but stick around my candy canes because I do want to highlight some of your questions in your comments. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also be sure to share this with a friend because the key key is always better with community. And don't forget to check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, let's take some of our candy canes.